get this piece here. So what we need to do here is first, just like we do with the other stuff, glue them together. This one I'm not as critical on making sure everything is dry. The glue dries, you know, like I've told you, pretty fast. Um, if you're not using a fast drying glue, um, I can tell you right now not to use a tacky, like a Aileen's tacky glue or Elmer's glue because it's got a lot of water in it. It will warp your stuff. Uh, now for like pieces like this, it wouldn't matter. Um, but, uh, you know, if you're not using, uh, basically, uh, like a quick dry glue like this, because I've not seen this warp anything yet. Uh, all the stuff I've put together with this glue, it has yet to have warped on me. Now, I'm, the reason I'm folding it over like this, like I do the other walls, is to get a good, make sure my top is good and square. Press down, get that good stuck together. So, and then you can go along and fold your other tabs, give it your octagon shape. All right, now these tabs fold out. Because this is what glues, and I guess it really wouldn't matter. You could glue, fold them in or out. And it gives a little bit more stability when you folded them out. Okay, you can see it's going to make basically a ring that will slide down inside of here. So what you want to do is, and I'm going to do this uh, like this. I'm going to put the, put my ring down in there. So. You know, so it, it sits like this. Uh, then I'm going to put my glue on this. Then I'm going to line this up on top and put light pressure down in there. That way I know it's going to be lined up the way I want it to be. I'm not going to put a great deal of glue on there because I don't want it spreading out uh, onto my bottom tower. But enough to hold this in place. Okay, so get that kind of lined up where I want it. And you're going to take your top tower, and it doesn't matter. Uh, you want to kind of line it up. And you may have to get up above and look down to make sure that you're getting it where you want it. Now the walls should line up with the bottom. You get your buttresses lined up in there. Now I'm going to put some light pressure down in there. Kind of make it adhere to it. I rub around a little bit. You can put a little bit of pressure because you've got some cardstock underneath there. And it's pretty sturdy. I mean, I can put quite a bit of pressure in there without crushing it. Worry of crushing it. Now. I may just leave that to dry like that, but uh, there is level one and level two together. And you can see how we've got that like that. And then all I have to do is just line it up, drop it in there. All right, so there's level one and level two. Uh, that's gonna, you can see the interior there as well. So you could put your little figures down in there. Um, now they have an option too for the trap door that you can cut the trap door out and have it open or closed and there's a little ladder you can run down through there. It just depends on how much detail you want to add to it. Um, I mainly use mine for wargaming. I sometimes use them in uh, RPGs, uh, but most of my stuff is used in, uh, in wargaming. Uh, I may set something, some pressure on this to kind of hold that, uh, get it down, get it good and level. But, all right, there you go. Next up, we'll uh, be starting on level three. All right, thanks.